Hey guys, welcome to your another CG tutorial. Today we'll be learning about Sutherland Hodgman polygon clipping algorithm. So some of the obvious questions. First one is like, what is polygon clipping? Polygon clipping is the process of clipping or cutting a polygon according to our clipping window. For example, take a look at this. Suppose this is our polygon and this is our clipping window. So if we clip the polygon, after clipping the polygon will look somewhat like this. That is this part of the polygon will be clipped and won't be visible anymore because this is the clipping window and anything that is inside the clipping window will be kept. The rest everything will be removed. So let's check the rules of uh, polygon clipping. There are four rules of polygon clipping by Sutherland Hodgman method. So this is the first rule. Actually there are five rules. So fifth rule will directly implement in the example and then I'll show. You can make a note of it again. First one is suppose if this is the edge a b okay when both the endpoints of the edge lies outside the clipping window and the whole edge also lies outside the clipping window we skip that edge and save nothing inside the clipping window so basically we are leaving this edge we are clipping the whole edge only we don't save anything okay second rule is a intersection a b okay this is our edge but what it does is one endpoint of that edge A is lying outside the clipping window, second one is lying inside the clipping window. Okay, so when one endpoint lies inside the clipping window and other point lies outside the clipping window, and we see uh, that this edge is going from outside to inside the clipping window. Okay, what we do is we clip the A point and we clip this part till we see the clipping window. And then we mark a new point over here called a dash. Okay, so this is how it will look after clipping. Okay, so what we save is we save a dash and then b. Okay, third case is when both the endpoints lie inside the clipping window. Okay, so obviously the whole edge will also lie inside the clipping window. So what we do, we don't clip anything and then we save b because it is the endpoint. Okay, and fourth one is suppose we have one endpoint lying outside one endpoint lying inside and the edge is going from inside to outside in that case what we do is i think it should be a dash over here what we do is we clip this part of the edge till we reach the clipping window and then we save only a dash instead of uh, b and b dash it's by mistake i have written it it's a dash we save a dash so this is how it will look after clipping when the win uh, window is over here and the edge is going outside okay so this is the fourth condition fifth case is uh, when both the endpoints lie outside okay like this outside the clipping window okay but the edge passes through the clipping window this is the case which we have not seen over here which we have not mentioned but that is the reason i have uh, i'm going to explain you guys the method and that rule in this example so suppose let's take a look at this example now this is our clipping window and this is our polygon basically polygon is anything that has more than one edge and it is joined that is it is closed okay so a triangle can be a polygon a square rectangle pentagon hexagon anything can be a uh, <coughs> what is a polygon okay now let's take a look at this example so step one what we'll do is we'll start from the edge ca Okay, CA what rule applies? It is one endpoint is outside, one endpoint is inside, and it is going from outside to inside. Okay, so what we do? We clip the part till the clipping window. Okay, we create a new point called C dash. Okay, and how it will be? C dash and A. Okay, so what we save? We save C dash and A. Then next step we'll do? We'll go from edge A to B. Okay. Now in the in this case, what is happening? It is going from inside to outside and one point lies inside, one point lies outside. Okay. So what we do? We clip this part over here. We clip this part and what we save is B dash. Okay. It's, it should be B dash over here. Just make a note of it. We clip this part, this part. Okay. And we save it till over here and we only save b dash just make sure that you don't write it down as a dash it is b dash okay now third step is we will consider this edge b c okay 
so that is our third step now we will consider edge bc okay both points lie outside as you can see both points lie outside but still the edge is passing through the clipping window so what we do is generally what we can do is we can just clip the part that is outside the clipping window that is from b till over here and we'll name it let's say since we have marked over here b dash that is the reason i had actually used a dash over here what you can do is if you name this as b dash okay and then when you are trying to clip something over here it will cause an issue for you that's why i had named it a dash so you can either naming is not that big of a issue main thing is you should get the uh, image after clipping how it will look so we can uh, take a center point over here and then clip this part and let's say we'll call it a b dash over here okay and for this c we'll call it a c1 dash okay or we'll call it b1 dash over here and c1 dash so after clipping the bc edge it will look somewhat like this okay b dash and c1 dash okay this is how it will look and now what is the thing this part was open this part was open so what we have to do is we have to join this part and then only the whole polygon will be closed so this is how it looks after clipping okay we join c1 dash and c dash over here a dash and b dash over here so that we have a closed polygon this is how we perform sutherland hodgman polygon clipping algorithm anyways thanks for watching guys if you have any queries or any doubts please ask them in the comment section below if you like this video please hit that like button please subscribe to the channel i'll be posting new videos soon so thank you very much guys see you in the next one